Hey guys, it's time for a long overdue language goals update. Uh, I've been super busy with my languages and my four main foci right now is uh, Spanish, French, Vietnamese, and Hungarian, and the other languages are in maintenance mode. This video is sponsored by Lingoda, where you can learn a language and get up to 100% cash back if you participate in their spring. So stay tuned where I will mention all about that. So for 2020, I'm learning 12 languages, but I am batching them into a few languages that I focus on more than others, and then the others just in maintenance mode. For example, up until a few months ago, I was focusing very heavily on Korean for the 한국어 능력시험, the topic Korean exam. 한국어 능력시험을 위해서 열심히 공부하느라 다른 언어는 그냥 뭐 쉬면서 뭐 취미로 배우다가 한국어를 이렇게 집중해서 한국어만 공부했어요. 근데 어 한국어만 공부하니까 아좀 짜증나서 다른 것좀 하고 싶어서 한국어 능력 시험을 공부하면서 베트남어를 배우기 시작했어요. 네. <웃음> 그러면 안 되는데 너무나 다른 언어를 하고 싶어져 가지고 네. 한국어 공부하기도 시작했어요. 아 한국어 아니라 뭐지? 베트남어. 네. 어 일단 베트남어 수업은 잘 되어가고 있어요. I guess I should switch to Vietnamese, but obviously uh, I'm just not that fluent yet to explain really how it's going with my Vietnamese. But my lessons have been going very well. Mình nghĩ rất thích học tiếng Việt và rất vui, <laughs> rất uh, how do you say fun, rất vui, vui. Yeah. Um, the hardest thing for me so far is uh, pronunciation. So I need to listen to a lot more Vietnamese and practice speaking it a lot more until I feel comfortable with my pronunciation. I have filled up an entire notebook. If you watched my previous Vietnamese video, you'll see where I'm working this, but I have written to the last. Uh, there, Obviously you can see I'm still making mistakes, but there's a lot to learn and I've just, I've learned so much. I've also been practicing writing little essays in Vietnamese, so just talking about things that are interesting to me or my daily life so that I learn phrases which are um, useful to the immediate need of my language right now. I almost forgot to mention this book that I got. It is called Vietnamese Stories. It is from Tuttle Publishing. I will put the link in the description if you're curious about this book um, to obviously improve my Vietnamese reading. <laughs> but I, I guess in all honesty, I'm not really one for like folk tales or like stories about talking animals. And you see, it looks actually a little bit advanced, so I'm, I'm really scared of this, but there is a CD, which is great, so I can listen to this stuff. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing how I'm gonna manage with this one, but I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but I'm happy that I pushed through because my lessons are hard. Uh, they go on for 45 minutes, which I realize is a bit long. So my ideal lesson time for new languages is about half an hour. After that, there's just too much for my brain to process. But with languages like Korean or Japanese, which are more intermediate advanced at maintenance mode or French even or Spanish, I'm good at doing uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, speaking about French, il va trop bien avec mon français. Uh, je me sens que je pratique beaucoup et que j'ai étudié plus qu'avant uh, parce que j'ai une amie ici en Singapour et elle m'aide beaucoup beaucoup avec mon français. Uh, par exemple, cette semaine, je pense que j'ai parlé 6, 7 ou 10 heures de français cette semaine-ci. Et elle me donne des dictées pour faire aussi et j'écris beaucoup. Comme ça? Oui! Et uh, par exemple, le dicté qu'on a fait aujourd'hui, elle a lu ça et Jésus uh, l'écrit, mais parce qu'il y a trop de mots que je connais pas du tout, c'était trop difficile. C'était trop difficile. difficile. Jusqu'à maintenant, c'était le plus difficile. Oui, 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 oui c'était difficile. Le dicté plus difficile. La dictée. la dictée, je sais, c'est la dictée, c'est féminin. Je... Ça va finir toute ta vie entière. Oui. <rire> non, sauf que, que à l'école aussi, nous avons fait beaucoup de. On a fait. On a fait beaucoup de, de dictées, de dictées à l'école. C'était trop difficile. Oui, oui. Mais Et mon prof, il était trop strict. Ah ben, les profs de dictée, c'est toujours les pires, ouais, les pires profs. Oh, oui, oui, oui. oui. <rire> Euh, J'écris aussi euh, journal intime, je peux dire. Par exemple, j'ai écrit quelque chose, il s'agit de pourquoi 
je trouve que c'est difficile de commencer à faire des choses importantes. <rire> et j'ai pensé euh, quelque chose et j'écris comme ça et mon amie, elle le corrige pour moi et ça m'aide beaucoup. Et bah c'est tout pour le français et, et luego el espagnol. Ah, <rire> no puedo pensar en espagnol ahora porque euh, hoy salí con mi amigo, mi amiga. Y pensé todo el día solamente en francés. Ahora es uh, muy difícil um, hablar en español, pero probarlo, intentar hablar en español, intentar de hablar en español. Uh, mi español creo que mon, mi acento no es bueno, es muy, 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 eh, como se dice, foreigner acento. Lo siento, soy todavía principiante en español, es un poco difícil, pero lo siento. Um, hago clases un, un vez de semana y luego uh, le, leo mucho, mucho en español y también escucho muchos podcasts en español también. Me gusta, me gusta mucho escuchar uh, podcasts porque cuando trabajando, por, uh, cuando trabajo, puedo escuchar. Mis podcasts preferidos en español son La Vida Minimal y luego Duolingo Podcast. Es un poco aburrido, por me, pero um, hay el acento, de, de, el acento mexicano también y puedo repetirlo y practicarlo. Sí. So I guess it is going pretty good with my Spanish, even though I just spend about one or two hours a week on it, uh, apart from passive uh, learning, which is like just listening and reading articles. And also I've decided to sign up for even more lessons on Lingoda. I'm really enjoying the variety of teachers there. So I'm not gonna do the sprint this time because I'm a little busy, but I am signing up for um, a few more lessons on Lingoda as well, which by the way, they are doing another Lingoda sprint. So if you are interested in the opportunity to get 100% of your cash back, if you complete all of the lessons in the Lingoda sprint, then you should try it out. Lingoda offers French, Spanish, German, uh, English, and business English. So that is actually the first place I learned Spanish. One of the reasons I started learning Spanish is because of the Lingoda Sprint. I thought it would be a really cool challenge to see how much I could learn in three months. And it set such a great base for my Spanish. And even though I was a total beginner last year this time, um, the teachers went by, that like they went through the materials very uh, slowly and they explained really well and it was nice to be in a online classroom environment because I was less shy uh, from the start because I knew that everyone else was in the same boat as me. It's also awesome that there is 24-7 availability so you can choose lessons day or night, weekday or weekend. All of the classes are run by qualified native speaking teachers and I'm particularly a fan of the lesson materials which you can download and take a look at before or after your class and they are made available to you anytime. So there is two types of sprints. Number one is just the regular sprint which is 50 language lessons a month for three months. If you finish that you get 50% of your money back. Then there is the super sprint which is 30 language lessons a month for three months. So that's really intense. However, if you complete it, you get 100% of your money back. So if you're stuck at home, if you're bored, want to learn a language, then I highly recommend you take the super sprint of the Lingoda Sprint. But you have to sign up before September the 8th is when the signups close. Both sprints require a 49 euro deposit and each plan will be paid in three monthly installments. You can check out the link in the description to see more about how the Lingoda Sprint works. If you would like 10 euro discount on your deposit, use my code SCHOOL30. So just use the link to sign up, enter the code SCHOOL30, and there you go. Next language is Hungarian. So, hétfő és csatörtök, csak magyarul tanulok. Hétfő és csatörtön a magyar napom. I don't know how to say it. It's like my Hungarian days in the week. És magyar úra van. A tanárommal. És az óra előtt um, szavakat írok. Um, nem, nem sokat, hanem 30 perc, és nagyon szeretek beszélni, de nagyon nehéz. I have two notebooks for Hungarian. So one is where I just scribble notes during my lesson, and the other one is where I copy my notes more diligently and more neatly after the lesson when I'm reviewing again. So I do do about one round of review. 
um, but I just keep the other notebook mostly for messy notes during lessons. Then the other languages that I have left, uh, Korean I'm not mentioning because I'm, I'm done with that. The, the exam results are coming out next week, I believe, so I'll update you on that. Japanese, I'm not taking the JLPT this year, so I'm really just using... なんか日本語で喋られるけど、まあ、日本語あんまり今年はまあ使えられるけど、そのノーリオク試験え、受けないと思いますので、えっと、じゃあ、日本語あんまり話す機会もないし、練習もしなくて、まあ、メンテナン